So here, I can never get the beginning of my videos right. I was trying to fix the camera so it won't be blurry. But here I'm just doing this dark blue. Um, I will admit this wasn't supposed to be this color. I was supposed to be doing a light blue, but I was talking and realized I put a dark blue in first and yeah. So a little tip, if you want a light color, please use like the white um, or if you use conditioner first and little by little put a dark color in, but I end up liking this blue. So I'm just putting this blue all over the back and making sure I work it through. So this is what I'm going to do because you're going to see why, but the end of the hair is going to be blue and the roots are going to be rainbow. I am really working this in because this wig is thick and I didn't want to take like little, little sections because that was going to take too long. And I didn't have time for that. Like, I was already tired. So, but make sure you work your color in so there won't be any white part showing or blonde part showing. So, and I'm just trying to make sure I saturate the entire back of the hair. So, it looks really tedious, but this is what you got to do to make your hair look good. So I'm just going to make sure I work this all the way in through the tips, continuing the back. I'm not parting it like really, really big, but I'm not parting it super thin either. So I'm turning sideways to make sure I get this little part. And I'm going to use, like try to use a smaller brush because I don't want it to go where it's not supposed to go. And that blue right there is fine because the entire back is going to be blue. So we're just going to keep on going. Making sure that is... Try to get it as even as possible. I know it's hard with wigs because if you wear wigs or dye wigs, you'll know that it's not really... I don't know what they be doing when they make them. They be making them weird. So it looks good, but... The parting is just crazy. So, anyways, I'm rambling. Just keep on saturating this blue. This blue is really pretty. I was tripping when I didn't like this. Y'all see me with my bunny. <laughs> Anywho, I'm tripping. Saturate this color on the hair. Trying to make sure no blonde parts see through because me don't want that me don't want that and we're just gonna keep going don't forget to like subscribe and press the notification button so you can be notified for my new videos become a part of kiki fam you know so here i changed my gloves um because i was like no i'm just change them instead of wipe them off and we're gonna start with the rainbow roots i'm going in with this purple and this is very tedious take your time on this because you got to section the hair and try to make sure the colors don't get on to the other section which it still is I don't know who can do this without doing that they are really a pro but I'm just trying to make sure this purple is really saturated and there will be no blind spots so i'm going through making sure i work this color in trying to keep the other part of the hair out and i'm just working it in rubbing it in make sure you get both sides especially this side because that is the side that is potentially is going to show more because of how it's the front so make sure you get both sides. And here I'm doing the tips blue. I'm also turning my brush kind of sideways every now and then to get the color in there. 
well, to get the blue, to make sure I don't get the blue everywhere and it's easier to try to melt them together as well. And we're just melting, melting, so it won't look weird. And occasionally you'll see me lift it up because I'm also want to see how the other side looks as well. So just try to melt it so it'll look seamless, somewhat seamless. Next is this pink color. Mind you, I did put something down, so I'm not just going right on top of this purple even though it kind of looks like it. It's like a clear sheet. I'm going to leave that down below too as well. So to make sure to minimize as much as that color mixing as possible. That sounded racist, but y'all know what I mean. We're going to do the same thing. I'm trying to bring down the colors about the same before I do the blue so sorry we're gonna just keep doing on both sides as well to try to make it look seamless and make it look as vibrant as possible melting it on down and then we're gonna do the blue so like a rainbow in the sky pinky or a wig talking about thank you. Occasionally, I did wipe my hands off and then change my gloves because of I did find myself getting the blue in places I didn't want it to, but the wig wasn't messed up. So on to my next color, which is a orange color. I actually mix this orange with like a pink so it won't be too, too orange. And you see my little clear strip? I love these things. And I'm just going to make sure I'm doing the same exact thing. Making sure I work these colors on both sides and get that rainbow effect. That rainbow root effect. This process can be very tedious and aggravating. Um, I'm also trying to move a little faster too. So, if you use these strips on a wig, you might want to make sure they don't move. So, that's why you constantly see me moving it. And I'm just melting this orange down. Trying to rub this in. And then we're just going to do the blue again, of course. With this orange and this blue, I was trying to be super careful when I melted it together. That's why you see me doing it like this, this way. Because this blue is really darker and I just didn't want it to look crazy with this orange so I am really more careful with this orange and I think the yellow as I was with any other color but more with this color when it comes to melting them together occasionally too I did put the dye on my hand to melt it. Here is the yellow. Now, I did get some of the orange on the yellow, but not a lot to where it messed up the yellow. So, I'm just trying to be careful with this yellow. Going in with the blue at the bottom, of course. Make sure both sides are looking good. I like this color melt with the yellow and the blue. Because if you 
know we all should know that makes green so it came out really pretty here is my green now i did not think i was gonna like this green i was like when i was mixing it it just wasn't coming out as bright as i wanted wanted it to but once i rinsed it and dried it i was like oh my god this is the color i wanted so right now it looks more of a teal green and i was like Ugh. but i like it here we are with the blue for that green too i did mix some yellow in it to give it a bright green color which i have now not what's showing on the camera Making sure I saturate that blue again. I'm trying to melt it together so it looks somewhat seamless. And here is a blue color. I'm not using this dark blue, I'm using a bright blue. But I am going to put the dark blue at the ends. And every piece I did cover it with the little clear sheets to try to get the colors from mixing to mix up, to mess up the rainbow. And I'm just doing it like I was doing the other ones, making sure I get both sides saturated with the colors. Apologies, I can't talk. I need some water. So, I really like this blue. Blue is not my favorite color, but it's been popping on these wigs. So, I'm just trying to melt it. And I put it to the side so I can try to guesstimate where the other colors stopped at before I put the dark blue. Y'all see how pretty that is? Oh, yes. Now, the rest of it, I continued the rainbow. So, once I was done with that blue, I did the purple until I was finished. And this is the finished look. It's processing. I may be saying got some blue there, but it's fine. And, yeah. Hi, guys. So, this is the final look. I really, really, really love it. Um, it's very bright. So this is not a filter, nor is it just because of the lights. Um, give me a thumbs up. If you're not part of the Kiki fam, please subscribe and press the notification button so you can know when I post new videos. I am going to turn around and show you the back. I am going to link down below the colors I use and what I mix together. Apologies because I really want to show the mixing of these colors. Um, I didn't just use like one straight yellow or blue. I actually mix different types of blue and the reason why I do that because when it fades like it looks like different blues like you can see like a dark blue a light blue so I love that effect of mixing colors um so yeah stay tuned to my channel for more new colors and tell me what you guys think